This is dextrose, ran on an S4. This is at a weight of two ounces or 0.125 pounds. Uh, we're dealing with a little kind of poly bag here. This bag poses some difficulties. Um, it's very hard to open, number one, and it doesn't have a lot of structure, number two, so it's a little bit hard, number three, to get onto the fill spout properly. You have to use both hands pretty much. Um, they also have to be pre-opened before you do this. Um, I'm wearing nitro gloves. They have a little bit of texture on them. And if they can remain clean, they do help kind of open the bag a little bit. But the bag has a lot of static cling and therefore it needs to be separated by hand before it gets used. Um, so this part may prove to be a little bit difficult. Uh, Weighment wise, we're running very steadily. We're running very clean. Um, it's not exceedingly fast, uh, but it definitely is functional and very accurate. Do you get some dusting from the air pressure building up in front of the product and kind of fluffing it as it does hit the bottom of that container and the air needs a way to escape? Uh, so that could be possibly an issue as well. And we do get a minor buildup on some of the surfaces here as we do have some electrostatic building up and it does like to cling to some of the more available surfaces for that portion. Um, on this model currently, we are using the auto tear feature, which allows this little way hopper here, the standard way hopper, to zero itself out completely every three runs or so. And any buildup on the door there is negated. Sometimes it will release completely and then end up in the bag but that's just kind of one of the woes of having some static buildup, unfortunately. Um, things I haven't seen are any overflow of the feed pan around the supply hopper. Uh, we have a decent amount of product up in here currently, so that's not causing an issue for us with the current settings. Um, it's hard to tell if heavier weights may be an issue with that at the moment. There we were a little bit light before the end of the dribble cycle and basically the load cell was filtering out some of the chatter it was receiving and then it wanted to, it understood it wasn't at weight so it corrected itself.